There are various inscripted TV dramas where gatherings of researchers and the individuals who are essentially keen regarding this matter quest for proof of notable cryptids, for example, Bigfoot and the Yeti. Shows like Expedition Bigfoot and Paranormal caught on camera from the Travel Channel show recordings where individuals have caught in Bigfoot, Yeti, the Rake and other generally notable cryptids on camera. In any case, did you know there are many obscure cryptids out there? Number 10 The Big Muddy Monster The principal recorded locating of the Big Muddy Monster was on June 25, 1973 in Murfreesboro, Illinois. A couple left in a vehicle by the Riverside Park vessel dock that was close to the forested areas caught a major astonishment when they heard an uproarious shout. An animal came free and clear towards the driver's side of the vehicle. They depicted it as a grayish shading, and its height seemed, by all accounts, to be tangled with waterway mud. It was around seven foot tall and was strolling up standing on two legs. They couldn't see its face. They took off and went straightforwardly to the police headquarters to record a report. Indeed, even the way that the couple were each hitched another person didn't prevent them from making the report. There were various different sightings in 1973 including one by Mrs. Nedra Green who guaranteed she could hear the animal shouting around evening time in the forested areas outside her homestead. Another locating was by a four-year-old kid named Christian Beryl who was attempting to get fireflies in his patio when he came running inside to tell his dad there was a major phantom outside. The neighborhood police boss paid attention to the reports with the goal that he got hunting dogs to explore. Number 9 The Goatman There are numerous anecdotes about how the Goatman from Prince George's County, Ireland became. One of the most mainstream ones is that he is a goat herder that lost his psyche when youngsters killed his goats. Another story is that he is like Bigfoot, however he just resembles a goat. Another story, and one that is the most fantastical all things being equal, is that the Goatman is a hereditary misstep made by a researcher from the US Department of Agricultural Research Center in Beltsville, Ireland. The story goes that the researcher was attempting to cross the DNA of a goat with his lab right hand William Luxford. It is said that William is currently a freaking out to get revenge. The Goatman has been known to pursue individuals, execute hounds, and unnerve darlings who Romley Park on Fletchtown Road, his home turf. Adolescents who tragically go to Fletchtown Road searching for the Goatman and have the mishap to see him, don't return. Number 8 The Fresno Nightcrawlers The first occasion when anybody got the Fresno Nightcrawlers on video was in 2007. An inhabitant of Fresno, California, henceforth the name, discovered film on his home reconnaissance camera of a nightcrawler strolling striking however you see fit his front yard. The nightcrawler on the video shows up humanoid with two long legs, no arms, a little head and two eyes. The nightcrawlers have additionally been seen on security tapes in Yosemite National Park. There is proof among native legends and in wooden carvings made by the nearby Native Americans that show the Fresno Nightcrawlers are genuine. Neighborhood native legends from the Fresno Zone demonstrate that these creatures have consistently been here, even preceding people existing, and the explanation they have long legs is they live in swamp world and the long legs help them to travel through boggy and muddy zones. Another native tale about the Fresno Nightcrawlers is that they are showing up now since they need to help people reconnect with nature. Number 7 The Van Meter Monster There was just one lot of episodes when the Van Meter Monster was seen in the fall of 1903 in Van Meter, Iowa. Everybody that watched the animal were very much regarded in their locale, one a teacher, one a bank clerk, the other the town specialist. None were consumers, all were notable around, and not individuals who might need the sort of reputation that confessing to seeing such an animal would bring. The first run through the animal was watched, it was hovering over the structures of the town of Van Meter. Witnesses asserted it looked like a blend of a man and a bat with huge bat-like wings, and a horn on its head that it could shoot a light pillar from. Witnesses additionally asserted the animal had a sharp smell. The last locating of the bat-like animal was the point at which a few of the townsmen followed the animal to an old mine where it headed inside. It came out some time later with a littler rendition of itself and took off. The Van Meter monster was gone forever after that last locating. Number 6 The Slide Rock Bolter 
The mountains of Colorado have an abnormal cryptid called the Slidrock Bolter. This animal is the size of a blue whale and has a mouth loaded with sharp teeth. It sighs a little, and it utilizes its back balance which has a sort of snare to clutch the mountain. It is said that it secretes a sort of oil from its mouth that permits it to slide down the mountain and gather up prey, including people in its mouth. The energy that it gets from holding tight steep slants and its grease pushes it up another mountain where it can get on until the following prey appears. It is accepted that the slide rock bolter can just live on mountains that have a 45 degree edge, else they wouldn't have the option to make the slide that gets them their food. This cryptid was first observed by loggers in the 19th century, and keeping in mind that there have been observers to enormous areas of smoothed vegetation and pulverized trees demonstrating its conceivable presence in the 20th and the 21st hundreds of years, it is obscure in the event that anybody in the 21st century has really observed one. This might be on the grounds that the animal is enormous to such an extent that the odds of a human escaping from it in time might be the explanation nobody has seen one in current occasions. Number 5, Altamaha Ha. Altamaha Ha has been found in the Altamaha stream closed Darien, Georgia since before the happening to white pilgrims. The Lower Muscogee Creek tribe was the first to recount anecdotes about the Altamaha Ha. The cryptid is said to have a body like a sturgeon with a hard edge on top. It has front flippers, yet doesn't have any back flippers. Its nose takes after a crocodile with enormous teeth and eyes. Onlookers guarantee the animal is 20, 34 long however littler adaptations have been located. The main locating by somebody who was not one of the indigenous people groups was on April 18, 1830. A correspondent for the Savannah, Georgia paper asserted there were different sightings of an ocean beast made by a few men on a yacht called Eagle. The primary locating was by Captain Delano, however a few other men on the boat additionally saw the creature. More as of late, a body appeared on Georgia's southern coast at Wolf Island National Wildlife Refuge in mid-2018 that looked like a littler rendition of Altamaha Hall. Jeff Warren's child found the body while he and his dad were visiting. Mr. Warren took video of it and the video has been known as a fabrication or a misidentification of a frilled shark or other kind of remote ocean shark. While a few researchers guaranteed it was a profound water shark and others asserted it was a lie, it's intriguing that the animal so looks like records of the Altamaha Hall. Number 4, The Frogman. Loveland, Ohio has one of the all the more fascinating cryptids as I would like to think. The principal accounts of the Frogman or Frogman rather started in the 1950s the point at which a business person professed to have seen various enormous bipedal frogs along the Little Miami River. The main authority locating of the Frogman occurred in 1972 and was seen by two cops on two separate events. Official Ray Shockey first observed the animal on March 3, 1972 at 1 o'clock a.m. Official Shockey was heading to Loveland, or when he saw what he thought was a pooch in a field close to the street, notwithstanding, when it stood up its eyes were lit up by his vehicle lights, and he could see that it gave off an impression of being a monster bipedal frog. The cryptid hopped over a watchman rail and slid down the slope into the Little Miami River. The official got such a decent gander at the animal he had the option to portray it all right that his sister could do a drawing of it. Official Shockey returned to the station and brought another official Mark Matthews to the scene that equivalent night. The main proof they discovered was the slip blemishes on the dike where the animal slid down into the stream. Half a month later on March 17, 1972, Officer Matthews had his own involvement in the Frogman. He was driving and saw what he thought was a creature in the street, he halted his vehicle, got up and the animal got up, hunkered in the street, and afterwards stood up, moved over the watchman rail while keeping its eyes on Office Matthews the whole time. For reasons unknown Officer Matthews chose to take out his weapon and shoot at the cryptid, however he missed. The latest onlooker account happened in 2016 by a man named Sam Jacobs. It was mid-August and he was playing Pokemon Go when he saw a huge frog close to Lake Isabella. He guaranteed it stood up and left on its rear legs. He evaluated the animal was around 4 foot tall. Number 3, the Pukajis. 
The Pudgies have been a piece of Native American legend of the American East for a considerable length of time before the happening to the Europeans. Some Native Americans accept that they used to coexist well with people however that something happened that turned them against people. One of the accounts from the Wampanoag clan claims they approached Myshop the Giant to expel the Pukajis from their territories since they were irritating. The Pukajis have held resentment against people from the point forward. Most Native American clans state it is ideal to give a wide billet to the Pukajis in the event that you experience one. Their name signifies individual of the wild. It is said that Pukajis have humanoid highlights with pale dark skin tones yet their fingers, noses and ears are bigger than a human's. As per a few sources Pukajis are the most seasoned cryptid in North America. Different clans had diverse legend with respect to the Pukajis. The Ojibwe and different clans around the Great Lakes territory considered them only naughty, and keeping in mind that they may pull pranks on individuals, they were not viewed as hurtful. Nonetheless, the Abenaki and other northeastern Native American clans believed the Pukajis to be risky to individuals in the event that they disregarded them. In any case, for the Wampanoag and different clans in southern New England, Pukajis can go in any case, they can be useful to a human neighbor or they can take human youngsters and do acts that cause incredible damage, for example, pushing a human off a bluff. They are viewed as very fanciful. Number 2. Lizard Man The primary authority record of somebody seeing the Lizard Man was in Lee County, Arthur Alina by multi-year-old Christopher Davis in 1988. Christopher got a punctured tire close to Scape or Swamp around evening time and got out to transform it. Abruptly a seven-foot-tall green reptile man with three fingers on each hand and red sparkling eyes ventures out from the bog. Christopher panicked, gets in his vehicle and endeavors to drive away, yet the animal hops on his vehicle and violently assaults it. Later it came out that there was a previous locating. In 1987 a cyclist halted close to a gatekeeper rail close to the bog, so he could get a beverage and a smoke and said he saw an enormous humanoid animal over the road from where he was. This was in a year prior to Christopher had his experience. There have additionally been sightings of Lizard Man as late as 2015. Jim Wilson, who was heading toward Camden saw an animal come up short on the forested areas and over the scape or connect. Mr. Wilson escaped his vehicle and started shooting photographs of the animal. He said it was tall, and had scales and a story. He said it seemed to be like a gator, had long legs, and its face had a short nose. The animal saw him and transformed towards him before going into the water and intersection the swamp. Lizard Man is extremely well known in Lee County, Robert Howell a neighborhood craftsman has gotten acclaimed for his drawings of Lizard Man. His drawings have even made it into a nearby verifiable Lizard Man show at the South Carolina Cotton Museum. In 2018 they had the principal Lizard Man Festival and Comic Con where prominent cryptozoologists hobnobbed with craftsmen like Robert Howell and even any semblance of apparition trackers. Number 1, Ozark Howler. Stories have been told in Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas and Missouri about the Ozark Howler for ages. Some accept that the Ozark Howler is a mix of fantasies about saber-toothed felines from the nearby Native Americans and the Cusith from the Celtic legends of the Irish, Scottish, Welsh and English pioneers who settled the encompassing zones in the mid-1800s. The Cusith is an enormous animal the size of a bull with shaggy hair that looks to some degree like a wolf. Its hide can be dull green or white. Current portrayals of the Ozark Howler differ, some state it's an enormous feline-like animal with horns and red shining eyes. Others state it is as extensive as a hold on for long shaggy hair, horns, a whiskers like a goat and sparkling red eyes. There is additionally some disarray regarding whether its tail is long or short. The Ozark Howler's yell is supposed to be extremely terrifying, perhaps a cross between an elk's cornet and a wolf's wail. In any case, different portrayals state the yell is all the more profound and throaty, or increasingly like a shrill howl. While there have been records of the Ozark Howler, both sound-related and visual since the 1950s, there are stories from families in the locale that return a few ages past that, even as far back as the mid-1800s.
What's more, there are some photographs that are not indisputable concerning whether it is really the hauler since they look as though they were made in Photoshop. The latest sightings have happened between 2005-2010, where local people have seen what gives off an impression of being an excessively enormous feline. Notwithstanding, there are no huge felines in this area anymore drawn out as indicated by nearby natural life specialists. It is accepted that the feline or felines being seen may be extraordinary pets that have been discharged into nature.